Well, paper CVs are becoming a thing of the past with more and more employers preferring a video application much like this. So that's me, Mark Roost, half English, half French, born and raised in Fondo, France. But who cares, right? Well, give me a minute of your time and I'll try and convince you why you should. I graduated from the University of Kent in the UK with a degree in business and European management of Spanish. Three days later, I joined Apple Press Group, a media and advertising agency, where I worked across five continents, interviewing the movers and shakers of the world, and saw my country reports published in world-renowned newspapers. But if, you, if you're camera shy, or you simply don't have the gear, Shay Peters from Robert Walters Recruitment is here to help. Now, is that what you expect from a video CV? I mean, that looks pretty complicated. Yeah, that's really advanced in terms of what we're taking to the market at the moment. The person's obviously put a lot of thought and effort into trying to stand out from the crowd and differentiate themselves. He's going to get the job, right? That's pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what happens, it kind of feels a little bit unfair. If, you, if you're getting a job on a video CV, what if you are shy and you don't know how to act on camera? Well, I think there's still plenty of advice you can get from professionals that will basically help out and give you quick pointers. But obviously some people are going to be better in front of the cameras than others. But I think there is still a fair amount of impact of what you say rather than how you, how you say it. So I think potential employers are looking for substance. Is that what they're saying to you? The employers? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they are. They're looking for people who they think will be a good fit for their organisation. People who show a bit of, I guess, oomph and a bit of energy. They're probably the biggest things we're looking for. What if you don't have the gear? This, is, this kind of feels like it might be a barrier to some people who, who, who might not have the gear or not be able to afford the gear. Well, the recruitment industry as a whole is probably moving towards hosting a lot of these video interviews in-house. And that's something that we're certainly trying to do to even the playing field, where we can help the candidates control the backgrounds, control audio, and give them some pointers around what to do and what to say. Now, are we slightly worried that this is going to increase instances of unconscious bias? When you, people will see someone, they immediately don't like them for, for some reason, unknown, and so they don't get the job. Yeah, this is a big challenge, but I think that people have to realise if a potential employer has procl proclivities of unconscious bias, they're going to have it at an interview stage anyway. It's mm. something that I think people should actually turn it on its head and think, why don't we use this tool to challenge unconscious bias? If there's, uh, I guess, stereotypes of different generations or people from different backgrounds, why don't they use a video profile as a way to challenge this and actually make some pointers around this? Although this does give them the opportunity just to say no, almost like Tinder, swipe left on quite a few people without getting them into the office to actually meet them in person. They're still going to anyway, based on their background. If they've got unconscious bias, they'll be able to see, basically from their c career background, what they've done, where they've come from. These unconscious bias... Um, issues will still exist. They won't go away. So is the paper CV then a thing of the past? I don't think it's a thing of the past yet. I think that if you look at society as a whole is starting to consume content in a different way. I think what we're seeing here is the job application process or the recruitment industry starting to evolve and following suit. I think paper CVs they're going to be gone probably within the next five to ten years. There will still be things like LinkedIn which show people's history and career history. This is a way for people to tell their career story. And I think it's more powerful. Give us some advice then on making the best video CV. Well, we just saw one that was pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we don't have to go to that extent yet. I think that video profiling gives you a chance to talk through anything that might be a little bit off in your CV or things that aren't necessarily straightforward or logical that someone can see, a potential employer, when looking through someone's career history. This gives you the chance to challenge those things. Mm -hmm. And if there are certain um, stereotypes around generation, culture, whatever, this gives you the chance to really challenge those and hit them head on. Thank you for your time this morning, Shay Peters. It's really interesting. I'm glad that I'm not having to get a CV together. Or Although I think it'd be quite well, it probably suits us. I mean, yeah, to, be, to be perfectly honest, but no, I, I, I like it. And from an employer's perspective, it must be a good way to, you know, instead of having to agonise over pages of CVs, to actually consume a whole lot of information really quickly. I can see why that'd be interesting. Yeah. That is